time time skip? Ninth grade. Oh wait, I was not paying attention. What grade did that scene take take place in? What? After get ready for school. Leah hits her alarms and flops face first into bed. Leah's morning routine includes lying in bed for 10 minutes thinking about how tired she is. Oh, <laughs> mood, yeah, let's do it. Ugh. I only got two hours of sleep. Oh no, don't do that. Sleep is important. No, I don't want to get up. Ugh. 10 minutes pass like this. Once the a lot of time is up, Dia unenthusiastically peels herself off the mattress and stands. After stretching for a few moments, she starts getting ready for school. Gmail. My classmate Akarsha messaged me. Yeah, let's check the PC. Let's check the email. Oh my god, why is her name that? Why is her name that? A. A Dia. A. Or is it I? I. Smileys! What? Oh, it's a puppy pick. Dia, you like Pringles, right? Oh, I love that face. I love making that. texting that too. Yeah, I like Pringles. They're, they're nice. Yeah, why? Hmm? Hmm? Go outside. Oh my god, XD face? You, you got some Pringles for me, Karsha? Hmm. Unimpressed. Hmm. Dia goes out outside. There's a lone Pringle sitting on the ground. Oh, I like her hoodie. Oh, they all have such nice fashion. I'd like this cloth in real life. Sup, homie? This is Akarsha. She's the kind of person who doesn't give pencils back. You know when you become friends with someone just because you have to see them so much? Yeah, that's us. <laughs> My parents are always saying I should be more outgoing like her. Like that's something I can just change. Oh. Hey, Dia, you know what's the best weed? Yeah? That's when I'm with you. <laughs> oh, Dia briskly begins walking away without her. Oh, you're no fun. Have it your way, Burger King. Akarsha is half jogging to keep up with Dia. Hey, Dia. Did you know that your eye has something called immune privilege? Is this another pun? This basically means that the outside of your eye prevents your immune system from knowing what the ins about the inside of your eye. Oh? Facts? If it didn't, your immune system would destroy your eyes. Oh. That doesn't sound right, but I don't know enough to dispute it. I don't believe you. Why not? Because you lie to me all the time. No said not to trust you no matter what. Wait, what? When? When we first met you this year, after you accused her of being a robot with artificially implanted human emotions. Hey, she got anno annoyed when I pressed a magnet to her head. That means she's a replicant and he was messing with her secret. What's a replicant? Checkmate. No. She was annoyed because you pressed a magnet to her head. Oh, come on. I was just trying to make a good first impression. What's a girl to do? Not that. For me. I want to feel sorry for you. There's a bunch of adults dressed in yellow at the intersection, waving signs. Why yellow? What's happening? What is that? They're trying to take away. Oh no! No! What? Game Edge is allowed? Oh god. Dude, it's been legal for a few years now. I oh, wasn't paying attention. Honestly, same. <laughs> Protect marriage, Jason Prop H. Shut up. <laughs> marriage equals one man and one woman. <laughs> okay. A smiling woman with a baby strapped to her back brandishes her sign as Dee and Akarsha walk past. It says, I love my gay brother. Still, yes, on A. Damn. See the way they capitalize gay. What kind of cognitive dissonance? 
Hey Dia, could you get a tiny two inch person alive for for oh my god, I, I don't know numbers. A hundred million dollars. Hmm. Uh probably not. I mean maybe if it was like dead, but like it's alive, that's gonna <laughs> no. It probably tastes horrible. You know, people have so many bones, it'd be like eating a fish. Well, that's practical. That's the only reason you wouldn't do it. Are you saying you'd eat him if he was like a Cheeto? What do you mean? Like a talking Cheeto with human intelligence? No, like, he's still a human dude, but he somehow has the taste and texture of a Cheeto. What the heck? This is getting pretty abstract. If it was a Cheeto, though... Mm. Okay, that seems a bit more reasonable. The nods. Dang, you wouldn't feel bad at all? You realize he's dies. <laughs> but he tastes like Cheetos! So, he's like a, still a real dude, man. Why would they make him taste like Cheetos if you're not supposed to eat him? Could you imagine, what if you were the tiny guy? But I'm not, I'm not the tiny guy. If I were him, I'd be going to a total panic. Yeah, because you're Cheeto, man. I would scream and squirm, I wouldn't even want to get eaten. Why have we been talking about this? It, it's a good conversation. I like this topic. We can keep going. We made it to school. I should go to my locker first before going to class. Suddenly, Akarsha takes off running. Hm? Where are you going? Huh? It's pee pee time. <laughs> pee pee time! It's pee pee time! Can you not say things like that? Akarsha left. She never takes a day off from being weird. Oh, go to class? No, we need to go use the locker. Oh! Dia opens her locker. This is technically both me and Alonso's locker. Oh my god, I do that. <laughs> Sharing lockers with your friends. The school doesn't have enough lockers for everyone, so freshmen share. And they're tiny. I'm always surprised when high schoolers in movies have lockers big enough to fit people inside. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, I'm not even... Is that real? Because my school had some pretty tiny lockers. Like, they weren't even like... Like fully to the wall. Oh uh, yeah, I, I don't think the big lockers in the movies are real. Nobody proved me wrong or tell me otherwise. They're not real. Let's go. Oh, ooh, get your stuff. What? What is this? This is rosin for string instruments. Oh, the first time Noel showed it to me, I tried to eat it. Yeah, I thought it was candy. Let's look at her lunch. She opens the lunchbox and appears inside. There's a steel thermos and a plastic baggie of grapes. Grapes! The shoves half the grapes into her mouth before putting the lunchbox back. Oh, that's so chaotic. Okay. Let's get our stuff. Thea has the her books and binders into the, her backpack. Alright, I can go to class now. Close lock. Oh, that's loud. She, she slammed that. Okay. Thea, <laughs> help me! Oh, Noelle! It's Noelle. What is it? I can open this water bottle. Noelle basically has noodles for arms. <laughs> it's funny. Let's open the water bottle. The attractive bottle out of Noelle's hands and twists the plastic sealed cap open. Thank you. How are you so weak? It's scary. Oh no. Oh no, no. It's the manufacturer's fault for making this seal so strong. What if you get lost in a desert and find a bottle of water? Feel bad because you can open it. Ooh, she's calling you out. She's calling you out. No, I won't. You can open it for me. Th that's assuming I'm there in the desert with you. I should start charging you a service fee. 25 cents. You wouldn't do that. I <laughs> make 1.25 per week. I can buy can buy cup noodles from the student store. No sneezes violently. Don't get too close to me, I probably have the flu. Hmm? Did you catch what I had last week? Probably. Sorry. This happens a lot because we spend so much time together. And I ate her food. Oh, It's friendship things. It doesn't help that our immune systems are perpetually weakened from sleep deprivation either. Go to sleep! Got it. <laughs> that can cause you a lot of problems. Please have, a <laughs> have an okay sleep schedule. At least you don't have to worry about me being contagious. Are you okay though? Shouldn't you go home? You know what, miss school? Oh my god, please, Noelle. P 
please, I guess that's out of the question, go home. Even when all had stomach flu in middle school, her parents made her come just for her math and science class. Oh my god, okay, when are we gonna get some good parenting? Jeez. She was like, barely conscious. I had to carry her around because she couldn't get up from her desk. Oh my god, can somebody be a good parent? I wish she ended up in infecting at school. Where's Akarsha? She... It's pee pee time! I'm not saying- why not? It's pee pee time. I'm not saying that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, never mind. What do you ask? I secretly sewed a library book security tag into the inside of a cautious backpack. What? Hello? Why would you do that? So from now on, every time she leaves the library, she'll set up the alarm and have her backpack searched. Oh my god. That's a lot. That's wow. Well, whatever. We'll have plenty, plenty of chances to see. Let's go. Ooh, <laughs> that's a nice fit too. Everybody has nice fits. A huge mob of kids is back outside the classroom. They're all looking at a grid of test scores posted on the wall. <clears throat> it's complete chaos. People are pushing and angling their way to the list with the fervor of believers trying to touch Justin's hand. Oh my god. If I get a B, my parents are throwing away my GameCube. No, not the GameCube. Not her GameCube. Yikes, that's gotta be an empty thread, right? Yeah, it's so close. I wish. They already threw away my cell phone. Oh my god. Please, somebody be an okay parent. What is this? I'm scared to see what I got on this. I think I failed. Asian failed or actually failed? Oh, that's that's a mood. Ain't that right? That's a mood. Asian failed. Come on, I'm not that dumb. <laughs> okay, let's see. Talk to classmates. Enter classroom. Let's look at the scores. This is a list of the top 10 scores across all periods. No aced it. Classic. Nerd. She used to call me on the phone, crying every Christmas because her parents got her math workbooks instead of what she really- Oh my god, somebody be a good parent, please. By now she's unbeatable. It's like her tragic superhero origin story. That sucks. That sucks. It's Except instead of a superhero, she's every Asian parent's dream child. Oh no, no, no. No clue how Karsha managed to get the second highest score though. Oh, that's nice. General consensus is that she's cheating, but the teachers have never been able to catch her doing anything. Nice. So I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. The yeah, allocated your ID number here. You got a ninety-one point twenty-two percent. That's good. Phew, almost failed. Actually, you, you could have missed one more and still scraped an A minus. Considering how many I got on, that's still cutting it pretty close. That's scary. I really studied as hard as I could, but even my best almost wasn't good enough. I wonder if I can really get into Stanford or Berkeley like this. Oh wow. Yeah, right. Too scary. Oh, oh no, oh no, no. Let's go to class. Oh! <gasps> As Thea and Noel enter the classroom, something burst out of the cabinet. Oh, that is fantastic! Akarsha! Woo! Ah! Noel staggers backwards into an X marked on the floor with duct tape. <gasps> A garbage can drops from the ceiling! No! <laughs> No, and Akarsha go for some variation of this every single day. Oh, that's fun. It's a roundabout way of being friends. Well, well, well. That's some fun music playing. If it isn't my favorite Frenchman, Noel. Please stop calling me that. Are you speaking English, Noel? What kind of Frenchman are you? <laughs> we love making friends of the French. Just because my name is French doesn't mean I'm French. <laughs> Bug it. See, this is the problem. Whenever Noel he hears something stupid, she just can't let it slide. She always has to correct it. So Karsha just keeps acting dumber and dumber on purpose into infinity. Oh, that's, oh, I love that. Noel does an impressive warm like dance to wriggle out of the garbage pit. bin. I can't believe you've done. I can't believe you've done this. What happened to our truce? Truce. 
from yesterday. You agreed to this. Lil pulls a sheet of binder paper from her, from her book bag and brandishes it in front of Akarsha's face. Look, this is your own signature at the bottom. Mm, suddenly, I can't read. <laughs> I do not see it. Akarsha! Lil's scream sounds very weird and hoarse from her cold. What's wrong with your voice today? That's a weaker yell than normal. I'm ill. I am losing my voice. How about I punch you in the throat? It'll displace the mucus. No, it won't. How do you know? Anything is possible. Trust me. I'm here. So ni iruka. You are the absolute last person I would trust. Wor you worthless scammer. Leave all your problems to me. I'll solve them in a heartbeat. That is unrealistic and accelerating that fast would destroy you even past your bone structure. What? Why are you being so mean? I'm just trying to help you. Hitting me isn't helping me. Wow, someone has anger management problems. You're gonna slow down and smell the flowers. Appreciate life's miracles. Like me. I'm life's greatest miracle. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. I feel nauseated just looking at you. I just don't understand. Why is there so much hate in the world? If only we could open our hearts to love, there would be no wars. Peace begins with a smile, Mother Teresa. I was struggling not to break character by laughing. Aww. I love some friendly banter. The bell rings. This concludes Noel and Akarsha's daily morning scream fest. The rest of the morning is relatively uneventful. Ooh, having lunch with the homies. Guess what? What? No, no, you gotta guess. You were arrested. What? No. You have a year left to live. What the? Dude, you... Why do you always gotta jump to the worst possible conclusion? It guarantees that I'm either right or pleasantly surprised. No, oh, that's true. You're a real piece of work, you know that. Whatever, I'll just tell you. Did you guys hear about the new girl who transferred here? Apparently, she's like... A delinquent. I heard she knifed someone. Knifed. We love, we love that. She must not be very intelligent. Isn't that exciting? We never get that type around here. That's true. Everyone here is kind of forced to become a nerd by default. Oh god. I can't wait to meet her. What for? Do you want to get stabbed too? Sure, why not? Saves me the trouble of doing it. No! Doing it myself. Lil rolls her eyes and goes back to organizing her fried rice. Oh, I'd love some fried rice. She's picking all the sausage bits out so Dia can eat her leftovers. Don't do that. I like being alive the same time as you. Yeah! That's the sweetest thing you've ever said to me. Really? Then I take it back. Wow. Noel slides her thermos across the table at Dia. Fried rice! Yeah, fried rice! Hey, Dia. How many second graders do you think you could beat up if they came at you in waves of 10 with a 5th grader boss coming over coming over every 5 waves? Hmm... How many second graders do you think you beat? Maybe like... Yeah, at least a few. At least a few dozen. At least a few dozen. Savage. You don't feel bad hitting little kids? Well, they started it. If they don't want to get hit, they shouldn't attack me. No, it looks a bit left out by this conversation. <laughs> Why just Dia? Why, how come you're not asking me? Because I already know the answer for you. Zero. It's true. You're a weakling. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> how rude. No, let's arm wrestle. Oh, I'm about to get wrecked. I don't you have Karsha. She hasn't seen this. I don't want to. I always lose. I'll let you use both hands this time. Oh no. Noel makes a face. Reluctantly, she clasps both her hands on the ass, so it's sandwiched in between hers. Three, two, one. Noel strains against the ass grip with all her might. Ugh. Ugh. The ass arm still hasn't budged an inch. With her free hand, the ass casually continues to eat her heart fried rice. Oh, the flex. You stop that. Akarsha, what do you think of the weather today? Stop toying with me. If I did that, I'd break your wrist. Oh my gosh, he is so strong. You know what I mean. You pins Noel's arm to the table as gently as possible. 
dang, this is like some fox and the hound. <laughs> oh god. Normally, these scrawny nerds hurt together so jokes like Dia don't stuff them into trash cans. How did you two even end up friends? I don't remember. You don't remember? You're always just there by default. That is not what happened. You had one bad ear, so you had a lot of trouble making sense of what anyone was saying. You just play wall ball against yourself or run laps on the track. That sounds about right. One day someone brought in Krispy Kreme donuts for their birthday. Oh. I didn't like donuts, so I... You don't li Wait. You don't like donuts? I don't like donuts. Wait. Now that's kind of... That's some slander. Mmm. Disagree, her taste buds are broken. Yeah, that is true. Her taste buds are broken. What the, what the hell? Anyway, I gave mine to you, and in exchange, I received your undying and completely unwanted loyalty. You followed me around everywhere. You were a major inconvenience. I don't remember any of this. How do you not remember? You were so extreme. Whenever the teachers tried to separate us, you'd start crying. I seriously don't remember any of this. It's probably because your birthday is in November. You're almost a full year younger than me. A year is a big gap when you're five. Huh. True. I was probably like a toddler. Sorry. I forgive you. That's hella kawaii. <laughs> Never use that phrase ever again. Oh my god. What phrase? You know what phrase. Oh? Excuse me. Mm -hmm. She's talking to me. No, go away. Dia looks wildly around for Noel or Akarsha to help her, but they've both already gone ahead into the classroom. I remember you. You were... Uh, what did she say? I've never met her in my life. The clubs are interest. Uh, crap, I can't really make out the words. Oh no. I'll just not at appropriate time. Mm hmm. We're collecting signatures to mm hmm. Approved. Okay, sure. The stranger hands the clipboard with a signature sheet on it. Uh, what, what is this? Sign the paper. Don't sign the paper. Uh, I'll sign the paper. The signs the paper. Thank you very much. Look forward. The stranger left. That should be okay, right? Right? Phew, God, that's over. Dia quickly enters the classroom before anyone else can try to talk to her. 